Ooh, we're live! We're live! We're live. No one's watching. <laughs> oh, okay, we're live. We're building an audience for you. Thank you, guys. Thank you, Facebook Live. Um, for all the people that are coming on right now, this is um, my Facebook Live, Harry Takeover for Shadowhunters TV. And I have a really special guest today, um, and that special guest is Magnus Bain. Hi. Who are we saying hi to? Magnus, it's um, this is Facebook Live. We're streaming to you know, thousands of or hundreds and thousands of people right now. All I see is myself on the screen. I don't see anyone. Who are we talking to? No, 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 this is Facebook Live. I, I, you own a phone, right? Yes, I own a phone and I make phone calls and I do the text message thingies, but I've never done this live Facebook thing. No, 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 okay, the Facebook Live, what happens is, uh, you go online and then you talk to the fans, you know, you, you there's thousands of people that you can talk to and then they see, they can ask questions and, and, and you can answer questions. Oh, that's brilliant. Hmm, I might have to use that on my phone. So who are we talking to? So we're talking to everyone in the world. Yeah, you can, it's like everyone all over the world. So Beyonce and uh, Taylor Swift, I'd love uh, to get together for some drinks and we can discuss your next show. No, 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 I don't, I don't think Taylor is, uh, or Beyonce are watching right now. But you say we're talking to everyone. Is this not everyone? No, it's it's fans of the show. Show Shadowhunters. There's a show called Shadowhunters? Yes, it, you're one of the main characters. So I'm on a show called Shadowhunters. Yeah, it's I'm playing you, and uh, it's awesome. You're, you're like you're like a legend. Okay, Harold, it's Harry. Hmm. So, um, what questions do you guys have for me? I don't understand. What am I supposed to be doing? You know what, maybe, maybe this isn't right for you, Magnus. Maybe I'll just take over, because it's Harry Takeover, not Magnus Takeover. Brilliant. I'll go have a drink. <laughs> oh, God. Okay, here we go. <clears throat> Let me answer some questions. That was Magnus that joined us. And uh, I don't know how that went. So, okay, here we go. Uh, what's your favorite part about filming Shadowhunters? You know, uh, I think it's it's all the special effects and the fun, like sci-fi, fantasy stuff that we get to do uh, in the show. But you know, w w really, one of my favorite thing, as far as playing Magnus, is that we get to explore this side of uh, kind of this very human side as well. That uh, you know that you don't normally see in uh, a lot of like fantasy shows you know you deal with a lot of sci-fi aspects of it but what i love is is the human side and really really grounding these characters and, and to see what what they would do especially you know for magnus is half demon and half human uh... you would think that he would be void of of compassion or or um... or void of, of just having these these human emotions especially living for so long you'd think he'd be jaded which in some ways he is but there is always a glimpse of of of, of humanity that that will, will always seep through and i think it's finding that that's really important that's what's really fun about i think shooting the show all right war is coming we'll see magnus being a leader to downworlder since he is the high warlock of brooklyn you know i don't think we've got to that point yet but uh i think there's a lot of foreshadowing um of magnus be, he is a leader, you know, he is a leader, and he also takes in and takes care of a lot of the, the vampires and all the downworlders, that, that, not just warlocks, I don't think he's all about just his kind, even though he does protect them. Um, but he he is the one that kind of has taken in uh, a lot of younger um, downworlders that need some direction in their life, and he's helped them a lot, and as you'll see... Uh, as you'll see that the, we're, we're going to explore that in the show in season two. Um, who is the most funny in the cast of Shadowhunters? Not me. It's probably Isaiah is pretty funny. Isaiah is really, really funny, actually. Um, Dom's pretty funny, too. 
Uh, is there a lot of pressure of being character that's openly gay? Well, he's bisexual and now holds a position of inspiration for others, even if though you're simply doing a job. Um, that's maybe a, 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 that's that's a strong that's a really good question. And also, that's something that you know I think the character when Cassandra Clare wrote it, it was it was it was someone that was based off uh, her friend and. And I think her story was that you know now he's uh, he's he's openly um, he has a he has kid he's openly gay and he uh, is uh, kind of really just being in his uh, comfortable in his own skin and I think it's truly important to have these characters on television that are that showcase that you know a, a different side you know I think on television there's always been. Uh, a certain way that that people are portrayed, um, you know, gay, straight, uh, you know, different races, um, and and kind of how the media looks at it. And I think it's been a great time for for media right now to showcase. Um, I always say this, and some people don't like it, but new stereotypes. Because I think you can't stay away from stereotypes. You're always going to have stereotypes, and now it's just to keep creating new ones to the point where you know stereotypes are just shattered. Period. Um, all right, can we go? What else do I got? I see nail polish. Yeah, you do. You know what I just heard? Uh, I, I just read that Alexander the Great used to get made fun of for wearing uh, makeup, and uh, he went on to be undefeated and ruled a really great empire. So you know, I don't think makeup or anything defines you, but it does help you express yourself. So go makeup. Uh. But well, we see Magnus' relationship with his parents, maybe. Can't speak too much on that, but maybe. Um, let's see. What can you tell about Magnus and Simon's relationship in Season 2? I have a script here if you guys want to read it. Should I just show it up? Just kidding. Uh, it's cool. I really love that they're really exploring Magnus, uh, Magnus's relationships with other downworlders, because I think it's important. Then you get to... You get to see, specifically with Simon, you know, he is a young vampire. He is trying to figure out life, this new life. It's like he's just, he's reborn and, and into something that he's completely unfamiliar with. And he, he has no clue how to use his skills, his powers, and um, slowly developing it. But also how to deal with, um, deal with it. You know, I think that's a really important part of dealing uh, with human life and trying to be around his family, but also how to stop from being killed and from from dying so man that's where magnus comes in he he, he gives him advice and, and steers him in the right direction and it's it's a really funny dynamic and i think you guys will really enjoy it uh, when you see it what else you got guys shout out what's up cynthia what's up mags um Magnus more like magnet to me. Don't know what you mean by that. Um, can you say something in German? Nein. I can't really. So that's the only word I know. Um, I will tell Emrod you said hi, and I'll tell Matt you said hi. Any emotional scenes for Mal Malik? Yes, plenty. Plenty, plenty, plenty. You guys won't be disappointed. I'll tell you that. Um, how many seasons will there be? Well, usually, you 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 would hope that you'd get a lot, a lot of seasons, but it all depends on how a certain, how the season, current season, does. So, you know, the more people watch and the more successful it is, the more seasons you get. So right now, we have two seasons, two. So. We'll see. If you guys keep watching, then we'll hopefully have a third one. And if not, then um, you'll enjoy the first two seasons. Uh, let's see. You like Brazil? I love Brazil, but I've never been. I would love to go. I think we'll answer some uh, Twitter questions. I love you guys, Facebook, but I also like Twitter, too, so I'm going to answer some. Uh... What is your most important common point with Magnus as an individual? Um, 
You know, it's interesting. I get this question a lot where, like, well, how, how how do you relate to Magnus? Because obviously I'm playing it, and I think that's a really important thing to have. There's a lot of things that I, I relate to him as far as, you know, f being compassionate. And then at one point in my life, having, like, been jaded by, you know, doing something over, you know, for a long period of time. So I, I understand that feeling, not to his, his point, and, and, and being hurt in a relationship that has... Uh, caused grief in my life and and you know and losing someone very important to me obviously he's he's lost hundreds of people in his life uh, if not thousands um, over over the centuries but for me it's also the separation I just like I just like the guy I really love Magnus I think Magnus is such an extraordinary character he is um, he is someone that I would love to be friends with, and I think every time I, uh, I I see him in a new situation, it's trying to explore what would Magnus do, and and the, the someone that I I really love uh, watching interact with people, and also and and and, and given the, the history and his background that he's had, I always find it really interesting to, to find myself in like a crossroads on, on like what I would do and what Magnus would do, and I think that's when it uh, becomes really fun for me because. Um, that's the, when the explora exploration starts. And um, so, yeah. So, I mean, there's a lot of things that I relate to, and there's a lot of things I don't, and that's that, that's really the fun part about playing it. Uh, let's see. If you could have more scenes with anyone, who would it be and why? You know, Magnus hasn't really hung out with Luke much. Even though he doesn't like to hang around Shadowhunters, um, uh, Isaiah and I are really good friends, uh, Offset, and it, it'd be fun to do some scenes, whether it be us not liking each other or, or, or uh, you know, um, trying to, you know, being on a mission to, to, to help him with his woes, because uh, he's about to have a lot of woes, and, 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 and especially Isaiah, I feel like he, you know, he, he's, he's a great actor, and he, he, It'd be really fun to play in some more scenes with him and, and interact with the downloads. Although he is a downloader now, he used to be a shadow hunter. So at this point, it makes sense to combine forces and um, take over the world. No, I'm just kidding. He's not the Um. Oh, thanks. Today is definitely the most fun takeover. I like to have fun, and I like to make sure that you guys have fun. So I'm glad that you guys are having fun. Hey, do you miss dancing? And hello from India. No, Indiana. It's very different. Indiana and India are very far apart and very, very different. Love you from Glee and single by 30. Uh, I do miss dancing. I, I still dance. Not to the... Not to... Uh, I didn't... I haven't danced like I used to, which that's what I miss, you know, performing, uh, which I hope to do soon. You know, I'm, I'm working on a few other projects that will allow me to, to dance, full out dance, not just, uh, not just dance for like... 30 seconds or one minute so I look forward to that and obviously if, if the character if it's right for the character if it's right you know a lot of uh, a lot of you guys have been um, talking about Magnus dancing and I don't know yeah I don't think we fully explored that because uh, I don't know if he would be a good dancer he can maybe float around and do some backflips uh, but that's not really dancing it, you know it's all about rhythm uh, let's see Was it difficult? Was it difficult starting? Oh, Heather, Clay, Clay Magnus, Clary Magnus. I know those two names. Was it difficult starting out playing Magnus? I think any role when you start off is is, is always difficult because you're just trying to find it, and you know sometimes when you're giving so much history and background, you know that 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 does make it difficult difficult to um, sift through and, and trying to pull out the, the nuances that. That would make sense for for certain scenes, and, and not completely give everything away. So it is it it is difficult in the beginning, but I I, um, I embraced it, and uh, I'm I'm glad that you know we got over that first season. And I'm getting a knock on the door, which probably means I have to go on set and start making a show uh, that you guys hopefully enjoy. Getting called in for blocking. Getting called in for blocking. You hear that, ladies and gentlemen? Thank you so much. Love you guys. Um, I'm glad we got to talk and we got to exchange 
Exchange, exchange what? Enough with the pleasantry. Enough with the pleasantry. This guy is, this, this, this Italian dude is telling me to get out of here. Peace.